With scandals now surrounding St. Louis City and county governments, regional leaders are sending a message about the remaining Rams NFL settlement money, nearly $514 million. Here's Fox News' Andy Banker with the story new at 10. It's been nearly seven months since the settlement already, and the Dome Authority, St. Louis City and County have yet to agree on how to split more than a half billion dollars. Well, now leaders in neighboring counties like Franklin, Jefferson, St. Charles have something to say about it. These dollars that they were awarded as a result of this lawsuit are not just city and county dollars. They are statewide dollars. My argument is the first thing they need to do with that money is protect the investment that the state taxpayers made in the dome. If there's money left over to spend, it needs to be spent on things that all of us take advantage of. For nearly 30 years, the state of Missouri paid off half of the original $280 million cost of the dome at a rate of $12 million a year. St. Louis City and County each paid $6 million a year to cover the other half using hotel taxes paid mostly by people from outside the city and county. We want the infrastructure that we funded initially as a taxpayer of the state to make sure that that is maintained and enhanced to such a level that's going to attract another sports franchise or something alike. No doubt money should be set aside to cover the roughly $18 million the Dome Authority, or RSA, spent on the 2015 Riverfront Stadium proposal to keep the Rams. Brinker is among those who lobbied lawmakers to put the rest of the RSA share into a fund to benefit the entire region. The language was added to another bill, but dropped. Concerns are heightened even more now with last week's indictments of two St. Louis aldermen, the aldermanic president, and a St. Louis County official for financial misdeeds. The, the indictments. Uh, I think it would behoove anybody involved in these kind of awards to be as transparent as possible. We just want to make sure that the money is spent in a way that benefits the entire region, not just one little um, neighborhood or one little part of the region. With things like rampant gunfire downtown, they say using money to truly transform public safety for those visiting the region's hub is a great place to start. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.